Funko out here getting into the mean pop game. Let's take a look at this, y'all. This is going to be a good one. What's up, you guys? And I'm back with some more heat. Pardon the pun. This this is uh, a pop uh, I've been waiting on for quite some time. Uh, it, it's an Entertainment Earth exclusive. It took quite some time getting to me, actually, to the point where they sent me two, and I actually sent one off. Uh, I, I gave it to somebody, or I sold it for, like, less than retail or something, so I can't remember, but I actually was able to cop two of these on on behalf of Entertainment Earth's mess up. One got lost in the mail, and then it, it eventually ended up coming anyway, so not gonna be too mad at that one at all i'm still excited that i was able to get to it and share it with somebody because for me and this is looking like it's going to start a new trend which we'll talk about later of funko pop meme edition stuff let's get to it that's glorious the spider-man versus spider-man imposter meme from the 1960s animated series. Uh, I don't know, man. I, I I know, I mean, let me let me take that back. So, Spider-Man, Spider-Man, and here's the back of the box. So clean. I love, like, I don't get how Funko will tell you or people will complain and say, oh, inbox collectors or box play, whatever. These boxes be half of what I'm paying for personally. These most of the boxes like this, the, the back like Spider-Man. There's a lot of boxes out here, really dope box art. So, with with that, I, I heard a lot of complaints about this pop, and I'm not really sure why. You guys, we got the the Chromes, the Diamond Collection, the Flock, the the, the Metallics. Everything getting super sized, and I'm not just talking 10 inch, we talking 18 inches here. I'm just saying it's a lot of a lot to be complaining about out here. Duplications, the same thing uh over and over. So it's a lot of that going on. And I heard that about this one. You got what are you smoking? That is the point for them to look the exact same and kicker. And we gonna go to the out of box right now. This, these pops are not even the exact same. One pop, <laughs> one pop <laughs> has some pointing straight and the other pop has some pointing doing his finger to the side. So I don't know how you guys can sit there with a straight face and argue and be upset or tell me that these are the same pops. To me, they're 100% uniquely different and I will not see any other way but that now that the spider-man fanboy is out of me they are completely and utterly the same pop and I love it and I love it now other than like I said the hand uh difference of one point like straight forward like uh the Uncle Sam poster uh we want you in the army sort of thing uh, there's it pointing straight at you and then another one where his fist is turned and he's like, I don't know, it's a weirder point. So it's a, it's a more flat fisted point. And those are, uh, the more noticeable difference. The other difference that I have seen is that one is actually a little more, uh, bent at the knees and squatted and his feet are actually closer together than the other one. So these are just small minute things nothing too huge you can see them kind of side by side next to each other but one of my favorite things about this is that with these like these uh tv moments the meme moments anime moments pop moments in general they will go all out on these things you guys like they have the whole entire meme scene behind it Okay, and that is that's half of, of why you would want to get this. If if these two pops uh, were just two Spider-Man, I think we all would know what it was meant to be and signify. But 
the background and scenery kind of does does it in for me. That's that is what makes this stand out to me as far as being spot on because that is what Funko tries its best to do. Granted, not all the time, but they definitely try to make this scene and what I'm about to show you look exactly the same. And this scene is <laughs> easily uh, one of the most infamous scenes, uh, which is why one of the most like popular memes now of Chameleon trying to like obviously do some mischievous stuff and commit a crime and he's an imposter spider-man you know dressing up as him and the cops and everybody's just looking on i don't care who it is just shoot both of them and stuff like that so it's actually pretty freaking hilarious watching it and especially in a 60s cartoon how cheesy or just silly it was so actually going back to watch this scene in general is funny uh, other scenes from this series, uh, another scene from this series that, you know, I've actually put in the old, sh the Shocker, uh, the Marvel 80 year anniversary Shocker that they came, or Electra, I believe, Electra, that they came out with. There was a meme of him from, or yeah, meme and a part of the show of him kind of in the jail cell and uh, getting his powers from the, uh, the electric, uh, electric shock of the lightning and stuff like that so there's a lot of memes from the actual tv show that i, I love and with that being said you guys this is the part i'm excited the top five memes of all time to me or what i've just seen around these don't have to be in necessarily any order at all but for me the first one would have to be this one the iconic Spider-Man versus Spider-Man imposter scene. That's number one. Number two, we have the Jordan cry meme. And I'm really hoping one day, one day, he lowers his pride because he's already laughed about it and made a joke. He's acknowledged it uh, during the Kobe Bryant's, uh, you know, speech during his funeral and kind of made uh, light of the subject and made a joke at himself so i'm hoping one day we can get a jordan cry meme of him in his suit with the big head tears it would be glorious red puffy eyes because when jordan cry it also looked like jordan was drunk crying because his eyes all bloodshot and this and that so that meme is great number three and this one they're actually making a meme of, I believe it's for the New York Comic Con uh, 2020 that's been coming out. And that is with the dog in the house and it's everything's on fire and he has this cup of coffee or whatever and he's just sitting there in the chair. And whenever I seen this meme maybe six years ago now, maybe a little longer, I died. I died. I remember whenever I seen it, my life was like, going going wonky crazy uh extra stuff all the time and it was just like that meme helped me get through a pretty like you know intense time and it, it's so hilarious it's still funny today i actually had to stop looking at that meme so much because you ever laugh so hard like your stomach hurt because it's been tightening up and cramping or you get a headache that's what happens Next up, we have a pretty a pretty solid meme that I think a lot of people will remember, and that is the meme. It's been going around a lot more lately, and that's the meme with the guy in the blue like uh, checkered shirt or whatever, holding the hand of the girl with the blue the blue dress, putting it up for you now, and he's turning back and looking. People have put all sorts of things over his face. Uh, it's 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 a hilarious meme. I don't know if they could ever make a, a pop out of that meme, but it's it's pretty hilarious. I love it. That's a great one. Um, the last one I want to mention is the Homer Sim Homer Simpson meme, where he's coming out of the bushes and one thing and <laughs> something something negative happens or a team get blows out or somebody gets embarrassed and people that were a fan they go back into the bushes and come out as a fan of something completely different. 
which is like my Heat and Lakers right now, that little uh, battle going on. But I am going to die a Heat fan, so I will not partake in the Homer Simpson meme like that. So there's so many memes out here, you guys. I know that you have the meme with the guy who's like thinking like this. And he's just like, think about it. <laughs> so that one, the Nick Young meme where he's like, and like the question marks are around his head. I know Drake has tons, tons of memes like making fun of him or some of his music video stuff. So there's a lot of funny memes out there. There's a few of them that could be uh, turned even more into pops. Uh, I know this one, the Spider-Man. We have the dog with the house catching on fire. We can do more. I want to see the Jordan Cry meme as a pop. You guys already go crazy with the Jordan Pops now, which isn't a bad thing, but I would love to see that. I would submit his legacy. This man has the probably the greatest meme of all time, the greatest player of all time, greatest shoes of all time. So do it, Funko. Let's see it. Let me know what you guys think are your favorite memes. Did you get this Spider-Man uh, imposter pop? For me, this is probably one of my favorite uh, pops, Spider-Man-wise, of 2020. I love it. I can't wait to put it up on the wall. Thank you guys so much for all the support lately. I've been appreciating all the fun stuff. Check out the IG. I like to do a lot of silly stuff on there, make fun of some of the homies and homets, stuff like that. Always putting up dope, cool stuff and doing different things on the IG than I do on the YouTube sometimes. Can't wait to see you guys in the future. Thank you for taking the time.